All those who have taken my classes, including some of those who are faculty members now, and I'm very proud of them. And I've always stressed about time management. If you cannot manage your time, you cannot manage your life. Write it down somewhere. Because life is nothing but a significant amount of time that you spend on various activities. If you make certain promises, you must keep those promises. That's one of the time management and study strategies. Life is full of studies. I'm still, I love still sitting on, on those benches where you guys are sitting. And I strong, strongly believe that life is time management plus education. You are a student all through your life. I'm a student all through my life. You students have taught me so much in terms of how should I behave with you when you misbehave in the class. And I'm not going to give up on that, pushing you all to the best of you. And we might sometimes disagree. So let's see how much you disagree with this tiny presentation. You remember that success is a journey, it's not a destination. My journey started with first masters in India when I did in 74, if I remember correct. Yeah, 72, 74. Most of you may not have born at that time. Then I worked in different organization the first one was that my daddy created for the country, National Seas Corporation. I didn't like that organization. Within six months, God was very kind to leave it. I was always people's person. So some chief executive of Union Carbide India Limited in agrochemical saw me working with some farmer. He asked about me and he said, man, you don't belong here. You come with me. You won't believe it. The next day I resigned, I went along with him. And I, he took me far away from where I used to live and he gave me a lesson. My daddy also agreed and did not agree with that. He said, never work in the area where your family lives. Never take a job in an area where your family, including parents, brothers, and sisters, they live. Because they'll be counting on you. I'm not saying that you don't help them. And probably I was able to help them more when I was far away, about 300 miles from them. 300 miles is too many miles in India. Multiply it by 1.6. It will be 480 kilometers, it's too much of distance. And I was so successful because I was 24 seven absorbed in the job, whatever I did. That was the training given to me by my father. He also gave me the basic training of time management. I was about eight or nine years, I cannot forget that moment of time. He said, Ravi, uh, we used to say, for example, this is a road and we were living on this side and his office was on the other side, but he can see a whole lot of us, what we were doing from office. One day he told me, I'm gonna teach you something very great, it will take you as long as you live. I mean, you practice it, you'll be fine. I said, what is it? He said, just meet me tomorrow, eight o'clock at that spot. And that spot was between our house and his office. I went, I started walking, it took about 10 minutes, so I started walking 15 minutes before the time. He asked me, because if, if I started at 8 o'clock, I will never be there at 8 o'clock, because it takes about 10 minutes. And it is always good. Write it down somewhere. Always reach to your destination 5 to 10 minutes early. It's all about time management. And I reached there, and he deliberately came after 10 minutes, passed by 8. I looked at him, he looked at me. He said, Ravi, I appreciate, boy. You came on time. I saw that you were here, but I was stuck somewhere. I didn't ask him anything. I asked him, why did you come late? He smiled. He said, I was trying to see that if you could ask me that question, why was I late? And I appreciate second time for that. And the reason for that is I was trying to instill in you that you reach on time, whether anyone else who has appointment with you is there on time or not. Let me give you an example. Last night, one student, I was working on my laptop. It was about 10 or 10, 30 in the night. He sends me an email, I would like to see you at 11 o'clock today. And I had doctor's appointment, I had tons of things. I said, my God, how will I manage my time? I called Miss McClendon, and she was very kind to leave note there. And I was ra right there in my office one minute before 11 o'clock, whatever it took. And that guy never showed up. Make sure you manage your time for everything and anything. There are only 24 hours. If you could create even a second, more than 24 hours, I'll be surrendering to you all my life. All my resources will be yours if you can create one more second above 24 hours in a day. You cannot, neither I. So remember, success is there. So that was a founding, that was my foundation, very strong foundation of self-discipline 
and get disciplined by whoever come in your life. Learn from everybody. Even if you fight with me, you don't know how much you're going to teach me. The number one thing will be patience that you... I have become a very patient man over the past 12 years. I used to get angry on all those things that some of these students behave in. But then I realized, my God, why am I burning my, my, myself for their welfare when they don't know what their welfare is? So please pay attention to start loving yourself like I love myself. I'll do anything for being disciplined and I'm a self-disciplined person. And if you come in my class, if I can help you to follow the discipline, it is already written in syllabus. You all have to read carefully and follow those. And there will be no problem in our classes and never. But I always get God's grace. I always get one element who is just out of this periodic table. He doesn't belong to or she doesn't belong to the periodic table. But I face them too. And it happens that they complain against me. Some of the faculty members sh shelter them, advise them. Ultimately, those students fall flat. Because I was right. I'm never unwell wisher of my students you can trust me to my life to your life that I will never misguide you and I will always respect you I'll get angry with you like a mother or father some of you know it very well so and I asked them hey if you don't like that role why am I bothering myself to behave like your parents I should not because it burns a lot of blood it burns a lot of time it puts me under a lot of stress believe it or not but I still love you so remember, success is a journey, and I will keep on succeeding, whether I fail or pass, until I die. Then I'll go to heaven. I hope so. Has anybody seen heaven or hell? None of us. It's right here. Heaven and hell are right here on earth. Believe in yourself. That I said in the beginning, I love this man, and I believe in him. That was me. Believe in yourself. Don't let anybody tell you you can do this and you cannot do that. Let them be black, let them be white, let them be Asians, let them be anybody, Americans or, or I mean, uh, let them be even Asians of any part. Don't let, don't, don't hear them. Listen, don't, but then leave those people away. Let them be in their own shoes or on their clothing. You find out the best people that you can find in your you make friends with those good people around you, good students around you. I never made a friend who was not acceptable to me in terms of who was better than I was. If you play any game, if there's any player, your game will become better if you play with a stronger player. That's what I did all my life. I, I made friends who were very strong than I am. And my father was one of the best friends who was very strong. Then luckily I got my all bosses, except some, I mean, life goes on, people, you keep meeting people of different types. But anyway, another important thing, which is necessity, I don't know if you can see all that or not, is that you have confidence and you must be communicable. You should be able to communicate. If you cannot get your message across, then something is missing. So try to build upon your what are skills? Let me fill in the blanks. What are skills you should improve upon so that you become a better person all around? There's no limit to that. And they are known as? Fill in the blank, real quick. I don't have more than quarter minute. <laughs> you should develop your what are skills? Soft skills. Capital S, capital O, capital F, capital T. Soft skills. And they will not come in a day. Take it as an assignment. If you don't know what the soft skills are, find out. You'll find minimum six and maximum 105 or 110. Go over the internet. You will be inundated with and pick up only five. Your life will be much better. Best thing to remember is that never confront with anyone unless you have to kill somebody. Because then if your, your confrontation has reached that level, then something is wrong in you. Basically, because you have annoyed that person, and you didn't realize it. And something is, of course, in the person that you're annoyed with. Both of annoyed with each other and putting oil or kerosene on the, on the fire, and then definitely somebody will burn. So it's the necessity. Effective communication is important, very important. That's why probably most of us have, in our course program, uh, PowerPoint presentation. 
I don't know how others grade, but when you do it, you have about 10 categories that I grade you with. And it has tremendous amount of your personality and how confident you are. So that communication skill is necessity, believe it or not. Remember, all those of you who have taken my class, this is on the first page of the syllabus. All those who have not, write it down somewhere. Desire plus the course, that's why you are here. Was it your desire or your parents' desire or your mentor's desire? They have pushed you all to be here and you are here. Courage goes the distance. Whatever distance you have covered in your life has already been because of your courage. Commitment will finish the race. You have to commit to yourself that I'm here to graduate in four years. Doesn't matter if it takes a semester more or two semesters more. Then you have to commit yourself that you will never have a GPA less than three. Because less than three GPA, if you are born with silver spoon or golden spoon, you can enjoy your daddy's money or mama's money. But I didn't even have the <coughs> wooden spoon. I had to create all the spoons that God has given and made best out of it. So you need to invest your energies to make best out of you with the help of all of us, your peers and all the faculty members that you have around. We are all together in this race. Even I keep on thinking about these things. Even now, when I'm full professor, as Dr. Jan mentioned, I got national award yesterday. I was one of the top executives and there were only <coughs> 105 or so in the entire country. And that was all happened because of uh, I had my resume posted online and there are different organizations that they keep an eye on you. What you write on Facebook, etc., they keep an eye on everything if you are one of the applicants. So I was not an applicant at all. It came as a pleasant surprise to me that I'm one of the top executives. In the How did it come? They're looking at my file, show you my resume, you'll be very delighted to see that, but there's no time to look at that now. But just take these few points in your life. I hope they will help. How many of you have passport ready? One, two, three, believe me, trust me, read this line. Have your passport ready, make ready. You never know when the opportunities will come. My passport was ready for 15 years before I could come to the USA. I renewed it every five years. There was a time in India at that time that you, now it is for 10 years. So I was so anxious to go because I wanted to follow footsteps of my father who had set up his footsteps in 1951 to 59 to 61. I said, man, I need to go to that country. I happened, my father happened to work with a lot of Americans in India, black and white both. That was the first time I saw one black, giant black, taller than I am. What a handsome man. And the tall whites. I had never seen, I thought my complexion was the best in the world. So, but I was amazed, God, you are amazing. First time when I was a little bitty kid, because they were so tall. So every time like this. So my father had a chance to work with. When I was a student at Pantanagar University, we had American advisors. <coughs> and chief of the party, I became very good friend with them. And we had one in our horticulture department, very close to them. So I learned a lot about America. And America, everything that I learned, internet was not there those days. Internets are like crazy these days. Any good or bad thing that you have in Western countries or in our country, it reaches fast in India and then they start following. The youth is spoiled these days in India as much as in America, believe it or not. I, I, I pray for all. So have your passport ready. You never know when you're going to go visit India. We have a lot of international education courses going to China and they're pushing me to make a program that they can take we can take our students to India, I said not yet. And then a lot of European countries have been visited by our students. Talk to them, you will be amazed. We are gonna have International Education Week very soon. Try to participate in that. And I'll be wearing all my Indian dresses all those six, seven days. And I wish I had very luxurious dresses, but whatever I have. We are those native dresses if you have with, with you during that week time. And make this, make this beautiful campus colorful if you can. Okay, time management is the key for everything that I've just discussed and that we'll be keep discussing uh, forever. There's time for everything, but you have only limited hours. You have only 168 hours in a week. Let's do a practical exercise and see how much time you spend or you waste. Uh, go ahead, I'll give you 10 minutes that is on both sides. And let's do that exercise. If you feel bored, the, uh, then, but this will remain with you. You use it or lose it is your call. 
But if you're a botany student, or in my any other class, I'll give you this again so that I can take it as a record for my study. I'll show you some data. In 10 minutes time, I'll show you the data. First, when I did this presentation, Ms. McClendon was very, very impressed. She said, Dr. Malik, students want it to happen every semester. I said, I'm ready. But things happen. Things happen. So they'll keep happening. Don't worry about those. I don't worry about those. I just play as best as I can. But you should fill it. In 10 minutes, you may not be able to fill it, but do it as best as you can. And write those hours that come from page one to this page. And then I'll show you the result in 10 minutes. But I'll collect this data. Earlier it was 50 students, now it is about 85 students. I collected from another class. I will collect it from this semester's classes. And then we'll build up on that data. Maybe someday publish the paper on this. Don't worry if you are not able to fill it up in 10 minutes because I have to give exam this afternoon and we have postponed that exam from 1 to 1.30. That's the botany lab. Yes? No, you just see in the meantime, keep it with you and see whatever activities you can do and then I'll, I'll show you the real data that I have. And all that data that you're filling, if you submit it to me, then it will become part of that study. And maybe not now, maybe I plan to retire in three to five years. Before I retire, I'll do something about this data. I won't let it go waste. And if not, then I'll, I'll share this data with some illustrious colleague of mine, and if they want to do anything with that. You may have done that earlier. No, don't worry about it. You, you, this is not my class. If it was my class, I wouldn't let you use your cell phone. I will not let you record what I say or speak in the class. If you did that recording in the class, you may be sued. Read your syllabus. So you can record anything here. It's not a class. It's an open presentation. It's open public. Because Miss Connie has taken this and they might put it, publish it, or not publish it at all up to their choice. So it's a public property. Class is not public property. Class is a different scenario. Well, I thought there would be a whole lot of class. You see, there's another thing here. Uh, for some Folks in the faculty member, this will be jam full. Every, none of the seat will be available for anybody and a lot of people will stand. I don't know if they hate me or not, or if they love them more than they, they, they do love me. I have no idea, but I'm letting you know, this thing will happen in your life too. Everybody's not gonna love you. I don't love everybody, but being professional, I never say that unless I have to say. And when I have to say, I'm a line enough to say that. So you be the line enough to say, speak your mind, but you have your data together, please. If you have no data and then you're bombarding at me, makes no sense. For a while you'll be angry, I'll be angry. But if you have data like I do have data, I do have data for every class and for most of us, but I don't want to use that unless somebody challenges me as a human being. Five more minutes and then we'll talk about this data that I have. This data, when you will collate it, it will tell you this. Did you spend time on campus wisely? That's the key uh, about this page.
that's the key. Did you spend time wisely on campus or not? And I'll show you some of the <laughs> honest data that some of the students submitted to me. Uh, it, it, will, it will make you think twice, oh my god, can that happen? Yes, it is a reality. It's a reality show, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a reality show. Okay, how close are you to fill that table? Pretty close? Don't worry if you're not able to finish. Or if you did not even start, don't worry. Even if you don't want to fill it, don't worry. Keep it with you. Fill it in at your leisure and then see. This will give you your picture where you stand. How, how great you are about your time management will tell you. And if you need to get upset, get mad at you and fix that madness. If you learn to get mad at you, I promise, I get mad at myself quite a number of times. And then I become a better person. But it needs a lot of courage to critique yourself and then improve. Or to listen to the criticism from others and then improve. Some people will get burned when you critique some folks. Some folks even feel bad. I mean, I don't feel bad when some of you call me Ravi. I know, where is she? She is not here. She'll always call me Ravi G. G is a very respectable word in Hindi. I even taught that in one of the conference workshops. We were sitting with Dr. Freeman, former president of this university. And that time we brought some learned Indian lady for our convocation, for, uh, for convocation, commencement. And she was amazing. So anyway, let me trust you that you will fill this and you will make best use of this. Let me share with you the data of 85 students, raw data, time management. Then I'll show you the chart out of that data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are 11 categories on your chart that you have. And look at this data. I wish I could track it back with the grades that these students had. That will be a fantastic study. We can develop correlations between time spent and the GPA, if that was only the criteria. But anyway, total 168 in a week. Few of these students were able to match their 168. Look at this person. Minus 101 means he or she did not, I, I don't, I have, I have not recorded the names. No names, without name. This person spent only 67 hours in different activities except utilization of 101 hours. What did he tell or she tell? Eats all the time. If you eat 24 seven or 101 hours, or many hours of that, I sleep a lot. Don't focus on health and school, I need to. He happens to be, I remember distinctly, happens to be son of one of very good friend on this campus. I talked to his father and I told him, I'll be talking to your father. And then he replied, yeah, Dr. Malik, my father also told me that, about that, that you and he may talk about it. I said, you have any problem? No, no, never. So I shared this with his father. He shared with his son and then his son became better. He was a very ordinary student, but I don't know about his GPA, but in my class, he ended up with B, otherwise he would have gotten D, and D for biology major is F. Then this student have no account for 60 hours, this one 13 hours. So those are the things. 20, this guy or girl was relaxing for 26 hours in a week. Then, my, my God, if that's the relaxation time, bless your heart. What will happen to your GPA? So these are all negatives, and some are the positive they could not account for their hours, 168 hours. That's how this chart looks like. How many hours do you think for good health you need to sleep? Then I'll tell you how many hours did I sleep. Eight hours a day? Eight hours a day means 56 hours a week? 
my God, I can't afford to sleep for 56 even now. When I'm full professor, I get money and everything. But that's what is important at this age. But now you realize you spend only one hour in eating in a week, that's too less. Commute is good, it should be zero. It's good because you should live in a school or very nearby. So on an average, but if you look into the separate data, some folks are coming even from 30, 40 miles to attend the school. My heart goes, my heart's off to them. And then the school, they spend only 22 hours. Team, club, exercise, six hours. And homework and study, 11 hours in a week. Not even two hours per, week, per day. Fun and friends, 13 hours. Chorus, a job. We all have to go for a job, and that's what I disagree, but I agree that we need money. We cannot buy the book, but we can buy expensive shoes, we can buy expensive dresses, we can buy expensive jewelry, but who cares for the book? I tell you, your books are the best friend today. Tomorrow when you get a good job, you buy anything. You buy even a helicopter and let me know that you bought it. I'll come and ride with you, if you will allow me to ride. So, so this is all part of time management and let me add resource management. If you can buy $200 worth shoes and you cannot buy $150 worth book, think about why you are here. So those are the things, TV, computer, sleeping 44, based on that seven, eight hours of strategy, this looks good. Other, I don't know what were the other activities, they didn't tell me. So now you figure out, <clears throat> are you one of those? then don't worry about if you are one of those or even if you are worse than those or you are better than those. See where can you cut time for your education. Oh, I need to enjoy, I need to do this, this. Do everything, cut down your time and bring more and more time for your this activity. Spend some time in the clubs, that's very important. Exercise is very important as well. But I want you to rethink about what you do and try to spend more time here. Now you can say, Dr. Malik, I, I read your botany or any other course that I teach, environmental biology, etc. I spend all time on this course. I, the, I, on their face, I said, don't lie to me. I can read from your face, you're not spending time. And then they will laugh and I'll join their laughter. See, point is that, <clears throat> I'll show you what is the, uh, so this is the scenario. And you may be part of that scenario. Let me go back to the presentation. Students ask me, what is your mantra? <coughs> How did you study? I, I tell them it would be very hard for you to study the way I did because I'm not an intelligent person. I'm a diligent man. So that was my mantra. Read, 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 write, 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 and then retain, 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 equal to A grade if you could do those three things. I'm a slow reader, so I take a lot of time in reading. But I only <coughs> 24 hours a day. I cannot create anything else, so I have to manage my time. There's a lot of work goes on sometimes, some, sometimes there's nothing. So what do I do? I cannot finish in office because of various reasons. I spend two to four hours every night at home. I burn my midnight oil to just catch up with my work. And if boss needs anything tomorrow, it will be available to him or her tomorrow. So that's what my suggestion to you all is. And look at the different purposes of reading. When I say read, 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 write, 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 and then retain. That's how I studied, even in my PhD. So look at different pictures and tr try to draw your inference. You are here to read, write, and retain for your degree work. You have to finish in four years if you can, otherwise let it go by. This is a site, this is not a very good site, but I'll give you some other sites. Look at study skills key to school success. These are the skills that you have to develop. And no one can develop the skills that you have. I cannot do the skills I have. You cannot do, but we can share those skills. Listen actively. And what happens in the classes, despite my pressure, they will still talk. They will, and I, I've, I don't feel good about to throw them out of the class, but I think after midterm I'll have to do that. So listen actively. And there's no guarantee, still if they remain silent, they will listen to me actively. It has to come from within. And I used to tell, I said I tell, that my class was ready when teacher was teaching about 50 to 60 percent. And remaining 40 percent, I'll go immediately home whenever I get time or dorm, and I'll fix up those remaining 40 percent. And then I'll read, 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 write, 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 and retain. Once I did that, you as instructor cannot take away one point, even a single point. It's a very hard work. 
Education is not a piece of cake, believe it or not. It's not a piece of cake. You will have to make it, bake it, and then only you can eat it. Maybe someone else snatch it away. Get involved in the class. Ask questions. That's what I encourage every time. Please ask questions. When nobody asks, and I start asking questions myself. Involved in the discussions. Make most of the reading. If you have read the chapter before you come to the class, I bet you, Nikhil, you will have lots of good questions for the class, all those who have not read it. I will make me a better teacher too. Score higher on exams. I mean, don't study less than a, a grade. If you come to my class, read my syllabus. It is written day one and declare day one that you all have A. If this is my class, you all have A today. Can you sustain it until the end of the semester is your work. And I'm always there at every step of the way with you. Ask your instructor what you can expect. Not on the exam. They ask me what kind of questions will you put. I never ask in my life, neither in India nor in America, sir, ma'am, what kind of question are you going to put on the exam? Man, if we have covered two chapters, let the teacher ask any darn thing from the two chapters. What is there? Then you all love multiple choice. I have tried to define and explain questions also. Most students have done better on define and explain questions as well compared to the most preferred multiple choice. Start joining a study group. We have study tables available to you all free. University spends tons of money. Make your group, go together in that group and make best use of those study tables. They've already declared where those study tables, what courses are available on study tables. Good night sleep is very important. Sleep like this, not like this. This student is so tired sleeping on the books. It will never happen that the material will go from here to here, here, and then to his brain. Never. He will lose all that he has studied. And she is having good night's sleep. Take few hours of sleep, definitely. Don't work like me. I mean, in my PhD, I hardly slept four hours for four years out of 24 hours. But I'll take power naps, 15, 20 minutes, three, four times in 24 hours. But I came back to the school after 20 years of gap in India. Then I did second master's at Texas A&M and then PhD from HBCU, Alabama A&M. So when I can do in this age, you can do it a lot better, provided you commit to yourself, you focus yourself. Tutorial services are available, as I mentioned earlier. Reading, writing, improvement courses are available. And we have fabulous facility right in this building, quality, enhancement plan QEP, where I push my students to go to the QEP lab and improve their PowerPoints. They are available at four locations, one in library, one in Peace Hall, and one in perhaps in uh, computer sciences department. Instructors, library, instructors, talk to instructors, go to the library. Academic advisors, talk to them if they have time. Counseling centers are there. If you have any problem, like I see some problem, different type of problems in the students, they should not hesitate to go to this center, counseling center. Go there, make yourself better, talk, to, and they will remain confined. Your problems will never be leaked out. And I have a couple of students like that. They bring me a letter and I try to help them as best as I can. Academic success depends on the skills, not on luck. Oh man, I wasn't lucky to get this exam grade. How will you get, you will never get lucky to make a grade. You will have to work hard. You will have to develop skills. You will have to develop your niches to make a grade. You will have to work hard. Develop the skills you need. Become better student and reach your goals. Budget your time. Time management is the key. Whether it's your personal relationship, it's your boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, it is your husband and wife or parents, etc. Time management is the key for every aspect of life. Since you are in academia here, never hesitate to ask for help. Budget your time, plan your study, projects, labs, exams, etc. Enjoy. Spend some time on recreation activities too. If possible, they should be all positive. I was a player myself when I was a student of your age. I used to play two, two universities for two teams, basketball and the volleyball. They'll take off my time. But I still manage my time to have my bachelor's degree, uh, GPA, such respectable that I can get to master's anywhere. And that I never, it was not an excellent GPA that I would have loved. But when I came to America, I didn't play anymore. I spent all time in my making towards for GPA. But in PhD, I tried hard, as I share with my students, to get at least one or two B. I stopped, quit studies, but I never quit my attention to the, my teacher. I still made A. 
Then I said, man, I have to be a normal person. I don't want to have PhD with four GPA. So I was very happy when I got two Bs and one an acceptable B, but I was a normal person. If the dogs can study, why can't you guys? If you train dog to play, have you noticed, I mean, we see sometimes an advertisement on, on our computer that a monkey is playing with computer and he's not getting internet connection. Because of the internet problem, it's not that monkey didn't know how to use that laptop. So the dog can say, see how, how, just look at one thing, how concentrated and how intense is he. I know, you know, he's not studying anything, but whatever he's doing, this is one thing we all have to develop in ourselves. Be concentrate, concentrate if you can. And then be cheerful like this young man and earn your gown and cap and throw them in the air. Enjoy your fruits of hard work. Good luck to you all. These are the websites if you want to go to. About.com, when I used to teach science career exploration, this was a mandatory website that they had to go and prepare their folder. Forbes.com is also a very good website. And Channing-Beat, this form, I was just browsing that and I found this form and I printed that form for the time management and how much time you spend on different activities and I'm using that. We don't have time anymore hardly two, three minutes, write down this, self-assessment is the key to your success and there are seven points in self-assessment. Let me give you those. You may have heard about self-assessment, but write down these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. These are the key for your any kind of success. If you could assess yourself, I assess myself too. And fortunately, I have been director of assessment for three years for this university. When we were submitting our reports to the Board of Regents and and the other agency which uh, helps in accrediting university. So we were very successful in, and they gave me a very important, very large area of academic uh, to, to review, to assess the academics. And we are again going to submit 10 years report in 2018, but I don't know if I'll be part of that or not, but I was part of five years and it was a proud. So I learned a lot of things during that assessment, but I, I assess myself a lot. Why am I behaving this way? Why can't I behave that way? So that a student will feel better. Then I assess also why that student misbehaved with me and how should have I reacted? I keep assessing those things. I become better every time. More you challenge me as a student, I tell you, I become better every now and then. And that's why I challenge my students to do this, to do that. Sometimes they get frustrated. By my, my sole intention is that to put you in a cell where there's nothing but the hard work. Because this life is nothing but the hard work at every aspect that you will have. You will have to work very hard. If nothing else you could remember, remember this, that life is not easy. You will have to work hard for everything that you want to earn. It's up to you. Thank you very much for your patience. And I don't know if I was any help to you to, to help you to think about why we are here, what we are doing. Any question that I'll be glad to take.